hot, blustery conditions at Icon Park. And it's going to be Viney. He's coming off his career best season. Top 10 in the Brownlow medal. Holding Melbourne. Ruck's got tangled there. It'll be Max Gorn. Doesn't have to shoulder the load this year. Kingy, there's a lot of reliance, isn't there, on Max, King, uh, Max Gorn this season? Exactly how you want it. Your best player with a heavy reliance on his shoulders. Kick that a mile, Max Gorn. <laughs> well, that's fresh legs. That is fresh legs. He's kicked that from 60. He's gone. Sometimes gives him a little bit more trouble. Deliberate approach from 40 out. Doesn't strike it beautifully, Jason, but it'll do. Tap from Gorn, beautifully down to Langdon. Ball picked off by Saad, and there is Maxi. Doing everything at the moment. Coach, practice their marks. Hit it nicely, Gorn. Dominating his first half. Max is doing what Max does, probably enough at halftime, Kingy. Sit him down, keep him fresh. Last couple, Melbourne. Carlton got the first two goals of his oh. term and that ruck work from Gaunt and Hewitt in double digits for the Blues. Gorn with the smother. Inches in the second half. Gorn. So it's 40, 45 metres. 45 metres he has. Eight days away at the SCG. Featuring the D's and this time Gorn went over the head to Salem. It's compounded from there, didn't it? Barrow that had the chance to take that catch but took it easy, Gorn. Continuing on. He cleaned up hitting it in the first half and very early on he's getting early in the season. Crips again. Another clearance. Well, this one didn't quite work out. And Gorn with the underground handball. Gorn again on a platter to Viney.